I'm Pat Dunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, we are heading out to get the um, get a, po a poem that the yeah, a poem King Olaf's first that the Bard's College uh, wants me to uh, fetch for them. And it looks like we're heading west. And we're going to... Candlelight isn't particularly important right now, so we're going to put Muffle on our right hand and Frost Atronach in our left. I think this is the right way. So up ahead is a cabin of some kind, I guess. You might find yourself at some point in the game spamming a few spells just to uh, level up. I'm not too sh ashamed of it. Miko Shack, is there a person in here? There is. Oh, he's dead. What has he been up to? Huh. When that bread... So it looks like he caught rock joints and managed to die from it, which is pretty impressive. I don't think the player can die from rock joint, but let's see how we're doing. Oh, yeah, we were supposed to go south, not west. My bad. Um, the player can't die of rock joint, although it certainly will uh, impact their combat effectiveness. And what is that? That is a dog. Hey, hey. Come back! No, no, no! Where are you going, dude? Oh, he just barks. Okay. Am I still headed in the right way? Yeah, south and a little bit east is where I want to be going. And I think that uh, quest, that thing on my uh, compass, which I think is normally the sign for a barrow, that is our destination. There is another cabin ahead on the right. I'm not sure which uh, which I'm closer to, the barrow or the cabin. I'm guessing the barrow because the quest marker is getting bigger. Oh, some Thalmor uh, Justicars or Justicars. Okay, so... And... Uh, okay, I think I need to do a little bit of healing up here, if I can manage to afford it. And apparently I can't. To a potion of extra magic. Oh, that's not what I want. Well, that's overkill, but it should be minor. Let's heal up a little bit and uh, conjure a new frost atronaut. And I'm not sure why I'm getting hit so much. Oh, it's possible that uh, Josargo has switched to using... Oh, 
Apparently I have been targeted by the uh, Thalmor. Well, that is irritating. Okay, Frost Atronach in the right, Muffle in the left again. But yeah, they were actually specifically out to come and hunt me down. On the upside, they all have elven gear, which is all nicely light and weight cost efficient. Just hope that I don't. This doesn't become a regular thing. So. Let's try and find the entrance to that barrel that has the poem. I am kind of amused that uh, that I am doing a quest for a poem, <clears throat> but at the same time, joining a bard's college, I suppose, is uh, it's kind of the sign, or it's it's kind of the cause of of that goofy kind of quest target. I'm not sure whether that word is pronounced respite or respite. But either way, we're heading in. Okay. Okay, there is a ghostly looking bar dude who is carrying a harpy looking thing, and here's a claw. Uh oh. Okay, so we will. Let's see. I think there might be another one of these right behind me that is swinging at me. Man, I love that, uh, that aspect of the game. Hmm. Silver ingot. Okay, so apparently these guys are getting pretty serious about crafting too. I did not mean to pick up his axe. They are not particularly useful things. Okay, that looks like one of those... one of those things that will open up from the other side as I'm trying to escape the dungeon. So, let us continue into the dungeon this way. Now, it's also kind of weird that we're using the word dungeon so much, since as far as I know, the term referred to a place in a medieval castle where people were held for breaking the law. So it's pretty... Oh, ooh, ouch. Ouch. Hit twice by the same spikes. That is not fun. Let's see if I can avoid... Where is Jizargo? Okay. Do you want to make sure that he's not killed by that? But it's weird that um, that that has become a generic word for underground place where you adventure in games like this. Up to the point where I can't actually think of a better uh, term. Now, now that has got to take a lot of complicated equipment to rotate a giant slabby thing. Maybe less... might take less power though than... Um, then it takes to lift and drop one of these things. Okay. And Jizargo can pretty much just smush any of these guys without too much in the way of uh, complication. 
distance to... Huh, but I can't search the critter beneath. Okay, well that is fine. This looks like a dead end actually. I don't think... maybe we can go through this. Oh, there's a chest, and is there a trap thing? No, I don't see one. Plus, in general, you don't have a, ch uh, a chest that's both locked and uh, trapped. At least, I don't think I've encountered one that was both. Okay, Jizargo, come over here, because I'm worried that pulling this will rotate that, too. Yeah, it will. And I would just as soon not, ha not have him left behind. Man, I love those kill cams. They're amazing. Okay, there's another body. Might as well take a steel shield. I can drop it later if I have to. He is not Captain Observant, but then again, I do have a pretty decent sneak, sneak skill. At this point in the game, I do seem to be favoring, uh, favoring the bow a little bit above uh, the sword. And I think this is just a treasure area. And that looks like a, uh, yes. Uh, Droppy, uh, ceiling thingy. Jisargo, please don't step on that again. Ah, uh, well, looks like he barely managed to avoid getting hurt by it. I think this is a foul. No. Okay, apologies, dead person. Not that you are able to, f to feel it. And of course, we are pretending that we're not just playing a video game with creatures that do not exist. And onward we go. Okay, it's a trap. I don't know what it does. Let's hope that it doesn't smoosh me. Sweet. And that gets me another level. So, we have a lot of pretty good perks that we could take at this point. Um, so for enchanting, we've already maxed that out. We're at 93 on enchanting, so it's kind of tempting to take Corpus Enchanter just because we want to be able to take extra effect immediately. On the other hand, I think we could take Blastsmithing. Oh, uh, let's go with this. It's just, it's too much of a game changer to miss out on. To be able to uh, put two enchantments on one item as soon as humanly possible. Okay, what does this do? That opens that pit. Okay. So we actually are gonna uh, jump down there but we're gonna finish looting this area first. And I am slightly worried that Jizargo isn't gonna follow, so... Down you go. I uh, hope you'll be okay. And down I go. Hope you're okay? Yes. Now in reality, it would be extraordinarily stupid to um, hop into an area like this while wearing so much heavy armor. Let's just try and pretend that that's not a concern. Okay, and rats. Oh, sorry, sorry. Did not mean to hit you with that. Glad I didn't kill you. Okay. 
Two foes dead. I don't see any more foes. But there probably are more foes. Oop. There definitely are more foes. And I am capturing lots of souls today. I guess another benefit to to both carrying around real weapons and okay this is not that fun I'm going to save just in case I don't remember how deadly these are actually I will use a shell and I think that there is a thing to pull to turn those off Oh, but Jizargo already made it to the other side. Well, that's cool. Heal him, and I'll heal me. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard him say that before, but then again, this is the first time I've heard him, uh, or I've had him as my companion, or follower, or whatever they're called. I probably should try and try not to use the word companion over much. In this because there's a organization called the Companions. Okay, so to the right there's enchanting stuff. And then there is that guy, that presumably dead bard. Is there anything interesting I can do here? I have nothing to disenchant. Um I do have an ebony war axe, which Todd, I thought I would have sold that. Oh well, I have a bunch of petty soul gems to sell. I will not be wearing this, but is worth more than destruction. So the other thing that you typically will end up putting on shields is um, there are resists that are specific to one element and that's kind of handy. Oh, so this is light armor. It's not actually something that you would normally wear. So I guess I'm not actually going to use any of... Uh, to use any of this uh, myself. So 83 or 88 for fortify carry weight. It's good. But yeah, um, things like Resist Frost or or Resist Fire or anything like that, that's going to be worth more. Worth a little bit more than General Resist Magic. I'm not sure why. So we're at level 95 enchanting. So close. So close. Now this door is enchanted. We can't open it ourselves. We're going to press onwards. Oh, and this is... Oh, shoot. That was definitely... I thought I was using Unrelenting Force. Now these guys are dangerous enough that I'm actually going to put my shield back on and summon a sword. And 
And it's taking us a while to beat him down. Ooh. And Jizargo is resting in a corner. Let's heal him up. And then I should probably heal myself up too. So this is a sign that I've reached a level where the game is starting to pit uh, the tougher uh, foes against me. So I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful. There's a passage to the right and to the left. This is a trap. If I can dash forward and pick up the... pick up the soul gem quick enough, it's not going to activate and cast whatever spell fairly frequently fireballs. Oh, and there is a foe that has not noticed me yet. So I will summon a bound bell. It's always nice when you can get those guys before they wake up. Okay, so door to the right, passage downwards. This is a locked door, so it's almost certainly a side treasure room. And we know that the combination is moderately to the left. More to the left than that. And there's a little bright spot that I'm using for calibration. So we're past the first notch, now near the bright spot, okay. Okay, and a master lock. So again, learning the, the shapes on the locks, like the little fine bits of grain and stuff, that's, that's how you can best remember where you've tried. So near the, the very bottom of this, there's a ring of white, and we, we know that we're to the right of the end of that. Cool. So yeah, you just, you just have to pay attention uh, to that stuff. Ebony gauntlets, uh, gauntlets they're a really great um, see what is Jizargo wearing? So Jizargo has a dwarven shield he's wearing orcish gauntlets. Now ebony ga uh, gauntlets are better um, I'm going to need to uh, need to mage those up and get them enchanted right for him. But if if I don't reach dragon plate armor by the time I'm ready to re-equip him, then ebony or daedric gear will be uh, what I'll go with. Let's see if I can shoot through the grate. Yes, I can. Cool. Oh, and now that thing opens. And there is a foe right on the other side who is not yet revived. Cool. There is another foe. Who oh, I can't quite... Okay, gotcha. Good. I'm hearing somebody else. It is a restless dragger. But yeah, so long as I remain somewhat hidden, my blows will still be sneak attacks, and they will do the boosted damage, and... The guys won't manage to get near enough me to deliver any blows before I have them killed. Okay, and here is a chest that has a trap to the right of it. Let's see if I can get this trigger. Yep. It is sometimes a little bit uh, difficult to uh, spot those triggers, particularly in darker dungeons. But one of the big lessons in RPGs of any kind is to pay attention. If you don't pay attention, then you're going to be killed in some nasty way. Or you just might miss something cool. Okay, Jizargo, where did you go? Oh, you're stuck on the other end there. Okay, let's see. That 
opens that and it opens that. Good. Now we're going to take a quick look over here before we head down. Make sure there's nothing left that we need to do. Looks good. Let's head down. Uh, handle. Now, if you're like me, you're going to have a tough time often choosing in between oh, just the bard ghost and, and this is presumably his body. This is King Olaf's verse. This is what we came down here to get. So, we, uh, we have it. Now, that's a pretty awful place to die, and I'm not sure why he died down here. Nothing particularly dangerous. Illusion up to 60, that's good. Let's get out of here. There he is again. Huh, so he's gonna open a door for us. Might as well follow. We have what we came here for. Josargo, you okay? Oh, I didn't. I did not see that that foe come about. Hmm. And I guess we did find a a claw earlier in this dungeon. I don't remember what kind of a claw it was. We only have a few claws at this point, though. Maybe it was the ivory one, which is uh, bird, bird, dragon. Let's see. There we go. Oh no, it's a ruby claw. So that's probably the wrong combination. Okay, so let's see what, what the ruby claw is. Ruby claw is... How do you zoom in? Well, it's wolf, bird, wolf. I think. So that is one of the kind of irritating things about uh, these puzzles. You often can't tell uh, which uh, which claw is used for something, except by uh, putting it in. Now, fortunately, the uh, you're not going to typically be killed by uh, by this, but it would be nice if, if it were just kind of clear what uh, what you're doing beforehand, so that you can plan it a little bit better. Traps in sight. Oh, I remember this room. Okay. So for this, we want to... This is a series of tough fights. Let's save the game. Just in case something stupid happens. Indeed. And there are a bunch of bodies around here that will be raised. If you can kill them first, you can save yourself a lot of trouble. Basically, shoot all of all of the dragger that look like they're not clearly just there for decoration, and try and put in enough attention to your Yeah, you don't want your companions to die, obviously. But you also... So 
So there's two Frost Atronauts here now. Now there's one again. And there is somebody up there who is... Olaf is almost dead. And now Olaf is dead. So we're just kind of mopping things up at this point, I think. Candlelight. And another uh, one of these guys. Ebony sword. Sweet. Where is Olaf? Man, that is an epic helmet. Oh, goodness. So I'm not sure what's going on up there, but I would like to wrap things up down here first. Now, if you want to, you can actually go and visit each of these corpus, uh, corpses and loot them all. Um, there's Olaf, and he just has a key. Well, that kind of sucks. And I think I hear a word wall. And we already cleared out this, so let's see. Sweet. Now this is one of those rare shouts where I consider them pretty essential. So I'm going to spend uh, I'm going to spend the uh, the dragon soul on it immediately. And we're pretty much done down here. So we're just doing some nice looting before we head out. And again, we'll restrict ourselves to to things that uh, that are particularly efficient because we don't want to make a big hassle. And uh, oh, there is a coin purse. I think we're kind of near the entrance. Yeah, we are. Good. So that was fetching King Olaf's verse. Now, I think we had something else to do that was in the area. This here is a Daedric shield, I think. They really do look awesome. Daedric shield is... I'm sorry, staff. That's a good way southeast to here. Southeast. Which way is southeast? That's east. And uh, south is going to be that way. So is it actually up that mountain? Yeah, it's over the river and up uh, and up past the mountain. So it's a bit of a ways away. We have some hiking to do. Just I can walk around the mountain over here. And here's a person. I've done it before. Oh, hello there. Didn't notice you come up. I was focusing my magic. Or at least I thought I was. 
I don't really know what I'm doing. I used to think so. See, my grandfather was a wizard. After that, I thought I was turning into a wizard. I even went to the College of Winterhold. They just laughed at me. I'm mad. Oh, in fact, keep it. I must have used up the magic in the staff or something. It's just a dumb stick of wood now. Oh, so I don't think I've ever come across this NPC before, but yes. I just convinced him to give me his staff, and that's it. There is something up there. Is that a bear? That might be my arch enemy, a bear. Oh, let's do a conjure bow. Yeah, that is a bear, I think. But me and my crew, we can take care of bears. Oh, it looks like there's a path, actually, that might lead to where I want to go. And I heard the familiar sound of Nurn uh, So let's follow the path and see where it takes us. What is this? This looks like a shrine of some kind. It doesn't seem to have a place marker on the map. Oh, yeah, it's a shrine. And it has a it's a shrine that people have been leaving stuff at. Well, sorry, but I'm an adventurer and I probably need it more than you. Not an attitude I would take in real life, but in a video game, that's fine. Maybe the path just leads here. I did. No, it does lead further up. Oh, and there is a cave up ahead, which is probably its destination. Well, we will mark the cave on our map and keep on going. I think I hear a dragon somewhere. Uh-oh. That is not something I like hearing. Sounds like a bear, but I don't see where it is. Okay, there's Brood Cavern. We're not going to, to go investigate that now. Let's see if this will actually take us to a pass in the mountain. There's some ore with iron. Okay. It would have been really cool if they had a putting away motion for uh, for enchanted things that was more appropriate uh, towards them, or I mean, uh, by summon things that would be more appropriate towards them being summoned. But, oh, well. and I am hearing that bear pretty loudly. Oh, there the bear is. And is the bear running away? And the game wasn't letting me shout because I didn't have unrelenting force equipped. <laughs> Goodbye, bear. Uh-oh. Is there another bear? There's a second bear. Okay, this is one of the things I don't like about fighting bears. Sometimes they show up in groups. Fortunately, it's having trouble making its way up the mountain. Unfortunately, it's still hitting Jusargo. Okay, that's the end of that bear. And I think the bears are dead. Yeah, I'm not seeing any actual pass in the mountain. Well, this looks like a pass. To possibly pass will pass. So we will take it. Hopefully it doesn't ever get too steep to climb. Uh, speak of the devil. Let's keep hopping and see if we can make it up. Okay. 
And yeah, I'm definitely hearing what sounds like a dragon. But it also s sounds like it's far away. So I might be... Might be safe. Maybe. Let's see. Hop, hop. I was really hoping for a better pass than uh, this type of mountain scaling. Sounds like the dragon might be a little bit nearer now. Let's see if I can make it up on top of these step like rocks. Maybe. Well. And then things are looking pathy again, and that definitely looks like a dragon. And I'm not sure where Jusargo is. But it does look like I have enemies nearby. And that is an Elder Dragon. And I'm going to save just in case. worried that the dragon is going to hover right nearby and breathe on me. Oh, like right now. Fortunately, I do have good magic resistance. It's not perfect. And Jusargo is backing me up. Oh, come on. And I'm going to duck behind this pillar so that Is there anyone bothering me to my right? No, that's good. Uh, where did Chizargo go? Oh, he's down there. Okay, and the dragon is... somewhere around here. And actually, I'd like to make it to higher ground because when I get the dragon down to half health, I would prefer to face him somewhere where I don't have to chase him down the mountain to kill him. Of course, he may have already hit half health. In which case... No, he's still... Okay. But that took him down. There. So... We're about to be in melee with him. And that did not look like a clean landing. Not sure where he is, but I will probably find out pretty soon. Let's make it up. I seem to be stuck here. Okay, so there is a battle area up here. And... And I am going to need to switch to... to shield and sword. There it is. Shield of magic resistance. That should help. Gotcha. I did take some... Uh, I did take a... A bite, though, and that was not fun. But I seem to have made it up to the top here. Get our shield up. Because sometimes there are a few more nasty surprises at the top of uh, these places. So let's see what shout this word wall teaches. This is... a shout that you can use to disarm your foes. Okay, well, that's... 
theoretically useful, and I can't imagine how they got a cow all the way up here. I mean, I guess they let it, but that's got to be a pain in the butt. And I think, what do we want to be at? Might be this barrow straight ahead. So, onwards we go. We're going to try and make it to the entrance of, of this place before uh, before we switch, uh, or before we need to end this episode, but we are getting near the end. Uh, is it that? Yeah, so we're practically within spitting distance of it. And that does look like the shape of another Nordic ruin. And I see some creatures down there. Bound Bow and Frost Atrona. Good. Whoa. Oh, shoot. I hope I'm not going to get stuck here. No. Good. And, okay, so there's a Frost Atronaut to go and say hi to them. And I will... Oh, it's these guys. So there are some creatures... Dominated spirits that are being forced to fight for... Uh, they're being forced to fight for somebody. They have relatively human type drops. Yeah, they populate basically this whole uh, this whole dungeon area, and they apologize the whole way through. But yeah, this is the place where we need to get the staff for Anathir so that he will give to the other professor whatever he needs, um, Arniel, I think, uh, for his experiment. And I don't remember if this is a big or a small dungeon. Looks like it's mid-size. It doesn't have any substages. It's wow. That is a neat architecture. So, so this is like a giant tent. Where some of the ceiling has fallen in. So, this seems like a pretty good breaking point. I will see you guys in the next uh, Let's Play.